The climate change minister has moved to ease fears about jobs at Wyala's one steel plant, but has stopped short of guaranteeing the steelmaker's future. Greg Combe today toured one steel and says factors other than the carbon tax will determine the plant's long-term viability. The opposition leader Tony Abbott had claimed Wyala would become a ghost town under the carbon tax. Today, Mr Combe said the city would remain very much in the land of the living. There's no basis to the claims that Tony Abbott has made about jobs in Wyala in the future. Under the tax, one still will receive $29 million in annual concessions for four years and then be eligible for carbon permits. Mr Combe insists the tax will not kill off the company, but did suggest a high Australian dollar and commodity prices will keep it under pressure, leaving the future of the plant solely in one still's hands. A lot of the apprehension that there has been about the future of jobs in steel in Wyala uh, that there's no need for people to be uh, worried about that in terms of the carbon price arrangements. The federal government is also expected to pay for Alinta's high polluting coal-fired Playford power station at Port Augusta to be shut down. But the company has told 730SA it's not yet decided whether it will build a replacement gas turbine at the same site. A final decision I think we're, we're quite a few months away in determining uh, what we do and where we do it. The opposition continued its tax attack in Adelaide, claiming about $4 million would be added yearly to the electricity bill for the state's hospitals. That is a lot of money to be taken away from something like the Keith Hospital, uh, something like uh, three or four nurses that could operate uh, within a hospital. Mr Combe says power price increases will be modest and the opposition is being alarmist. Angelique Johnson, ABC News, Adelaide.